click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a next property that is a time shifting property of discrete time Fourier transform. So first of all we will see the statement and then we will move on to proof. So first of all statement is if the x of n discrete time Fourier transform is x of w or we can say that the x of n is transformed into a discrete time Fourier transform and represented by x of w then if I delete this x of n by k then the discrete time Fourier transform of this x of n minus k is e to the power minus j omega k into discrete time Fourier transform of x of n. Now we will prove this whole statement. First of all, we will write the definition of discrete time Fourier transform. Now, in this property, my input x of n is x of n minus k. I will replace this x of n by x of n minus k. Now, we cannot directly apply the definition of DTF. The reason is here the x of n is delayed by k. What we want? We want only a simple variable. Here the variable is delayed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this whole n minus k by different variable. So let my different variable is m. So this n minus k is replaced by m. But what about this n? We have to calculate the value for this n. So I'm going to shift this minus k on right hand side. Now I'll put all this value. Let's say this is my equation number one. And next one is two. So I'll substitute all the values of equation two in equation number one. So what you will get this n minus k is replaced by m and this n is replaced by m plus k as well as this n is also replaced by m plus k. Now look at here if we add minus k in limits or you can say on both the sides then what will happen minus infinity minus k remains minus infinity as well as plus infinity minus k will remains as a minus infinity and look at here on left hand side if we add minus k in m plus k then kk will get cancelled so we have only m and the limit will start from minus infinity to infinity only and now here now look at it we can split this exponential power but first of all we'll multiply minus j omega inside this bracket Now, I will split this exponential power. Reason is this summation only depends on variable m. Here we have m, here we have m, but here we don't have any m. In this case, we have a k value and it is a constant. That's why I'm going to separate this exponential power. After separating, I can say that e to the power minus j omega k is a constant term. So, I will write outside of this summation bracket. And now, this whole bracket is in form of a definition of discrete time Fourier transform where actually in my definition we used n as a variable and here we use m as a variable. So, look at here. Summation m value varies from minus infinity x of m e to the power minus j omega m and this is nothing but the definition of discrete time Fourier transform of x of n and DTFT of x of n is represented by x of omega and this is our proof. Now we will study a next proof in next video. 
So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.